and welcome. This is Aditya Mahajan presenting the video prototype submission for TechFest Innovation Nearing Power Cut of Notifier and Transformer Fault Predictor. This is a submission for stage 2. Let's get started. You might have come across a situation that you have a very important work to do and suddenly there is a power cut off. You have no idea when it would come back and you pick up the phone to call the electricity board. But wait, it's busy from 15 minutes. What to do now? We face such electricity problems a numerous number of times. There is no proper communication between technicians and the people. Technicians don't even know what the problem is unless we tell them. And even when the technicians know the problem, we don't even have an idea when that problem would be solved. We will be providing an ML and IoT based solution which would help in improving the communication between the electricity board and the user. Solution would consist of two things, a hardware module and a web based app. Hardware module would consist of microcontroller and some sensors. These sensors would log the data of the transformer 24 7. This collected data would be helpful in building a machine learning model which would help in predicting the faults of the transformer in the future. With the help of GSM module, the data would be uploaded to the cloud, where we would train our model on a daily basis. And once sufficiently trained, it would predict the faults that may occur to the technicians directly on the web app. Web app would have two divisions, one for the staff and other for users. More detail would be shown in the next section. Enough of theory, let's get into implementations now. So here we have our hardware module. In our abstract, we mentioned Raspberry Pi as our microcontroller board. But we have found a better and cost effective way with the help of Arduino Nano. And these are our sensors. LM35D, the winding temperature sensor. MQ135, air quality detector. The next is the voltage sensor. DHT11. Surrounding Humidity and Temperature Sensor ACS712, the current sensor and finally the DS18B20, Oil Temperature Sensor We have not shown the GSM module SIM800L because we were facing some technical issues with it now let's just upload our code to the Arduino. And when we go to the serial monitor, we can see the outputs of our sensors. Let's see the readings one more time from here. There you go. Let's just jump into our web app. We have two divisions as you already know. Let's first see the user part. This is our home page. And also we have added a sample about us page. The users can log in into the account from here. And also a new user can register. Once we log in, we can check the electricity status. And all the other parameters. And also in short about some te technicians. Users can also go to their dashboard and also change their personal information or the password. Now let's see from the staff side. We can see about the users, the staff, 
and all the admin records that are present. Also, we can view, update or add new admins or the users. Also, we have a department section which would allow us uh, for updating the staff records. And all the user facilities are also available in the staff module. So that's all for the video. Thank you.